Good morning, Matt here from West Coast Shaving Daily Shave video series. And for today's daily shave, I'm going to be doing another vintage straight razor shave and product review. Today's review is going to focus on a new uh, cream released by Holy Cow. This is La Superior in the Dolce Tobacco scent. So this is a sweet tobacco scent, like the name uh, suggests. And very excited. This has uh, been long term in the making. The uh, the cream by Holy Cow, it's a vegan cream. Sweating the face. The razor is going to be um, this vintage Philharmonica. This is a 1950s razor made in Barcelona, Spain. It's a near wedge grind and it's about, it's a 6 eighths uh, size, it's the number 13. The brush is going to be Heritage Collection Gel Bore, one of my favorite pickups from last year. This is um, basically a reproduction of a Merit vintage brush design. Um, and uh, the knot is, uh, has been uh, bleached to give these very soft gel tips. So it's been soaking, it's ready to go. And I'm just gonna scoop out some of the, the shaving cream and get started. So it's very, very soft. I would not recommend um, pulling it from the tub or uh, lap, you know, uh, swirling in the tub with your brush. Uh, it's going to pick up a lot of product. So I'm just going to use that amount. It's about an almond sized amount. I'm going to put it right on the face. Also, I have my bowl here or my uh, scuttle so I can keep so I can keep the, um, the lather warm in between passes. Very soft. The texture of the cream, it feels like it's whipped, almost like a mousse. Feels like airy, kind of, and uh, has a mousse-like texture. And then I'm just gonna give my brush a little shake, two shakes, and start building the lather. Um, So this has been uh, in development for a while. I remember seeing a video on this. It was definitely over a year ago. Um, one of the West Coast shaving videos with Aviv and Jared. And they were um, using, I think, a prototype of this, of this cream. Uh, as you can see, the, the color of it, it has kind of an orange color. And that's due to the, some of the botanicals that he adds uh, so there's a lot of additives in this cream that give uh, antioxidant properties, emollients. Um, it's really focused on the face feel and the uh, post-shave aspect. I'm just slowly adding some water into the brush like this. I'm just adding it to the cream here. I'm gonna build it on my face. Needs more. start to build it up. I'm gonna add a little more water. Holy cow, of course, they kind of bridge wet shaving with uh, cosmetics and skincare. So, uh, Sri from Holy Cow, he's a wizard at making shaving soap, but he has a background in cosmetics and uh, it really shows in all the products. They really, um, you can feel, uh, you know, the, the kind of healing properties that a lot of the, you know, the, the soaps and the creams have. His Sierra base soap base is my favorite uh, shaving soap base in the business at this time. I'm not saying a lot, there's a lot of competition out there and there's a lot of really great soaps out there. Uh, but I've been using this cream and I really like this cream. Um, I'm a fan of creams in general. I like how easy they are because already I've got a good lather that's ready to go. Um, you can very quickly build a nice dense lather. 
and it's got excellent slickness. And this cream will talk about some of the differences with some of the other creams out there. Um, I like the ease of use of a cream. I like that you can, and I'm just gonna start shaving right away here and try to talk as I go. So I love using a cream because of how convenient it is. Typically they're designed to, um, to make a nice lather, make it quickly. So some soaps, they can be difficult, you know, it depends on the soap, but they can sometimes be, um, you know, a little finicky when you're trying to build a lather. And creams are really designed to lather very quickly. So that's the main reason, you know, I don't always want to take, you know, 30 minutes to do a shave don't have that kind of time in the morning like most people. So, that's why I really like creams. But there's definitely a trade-off. Usually there's a trade-off, at least that I've noticed, when you have a cream that lathers easily, it can sometimes uh, sacrifice on slickness and post shave. So some other creams that I really like are uh, Perrazzo. I like, um, I started out actually with Trumper's cream, which uh, have some excellent scents that I really enjoy. And, uh, you know, there's actually a lot of, of the British creams D.R. Harris is another good one. A lot of people really start off with Tobbs. But I do notice that sometimes you sacrifice the post shave. So after you shave with some of the creams, they can leave a drying effect on your skin. I definitely noticed that. It's not usually as good as a shaving soap when it comes to the post shave. But I think this cream has a post shave that can equal or excel as far as the post shave. That's what it's designed to do. And I've noticed that after my shave, I could easily forego a, um, like a bomb and aftershave or a lotion. The, the cream itself, it just has a lot of uh, kind of like emollient properties that I think set it apart from a lot of creams. And what I like about this one is that it balances the line. So it's very easy to bring up a lather with it, but at the same time, it uh, still has that slickness and it still has a good, very good post shave. And I really wouldn't expect anything less from Sri. He is a wizard. He also has a full line of uh, skincare products. Like I know there's a, a serum that could be used as a post-shave balm or, uh, you know, or just as a face lotion. I think he has eye cream and pre-shave. He has, um, aftershave bombs and splashes and alcohol-free sp splashes. I really enjoy the alcohol-free splash. Let me talk a little bit about this soap in particular, or this cream, um, as far as the scent. So the scent is, um, it is a sweet tobacco. So I believe it's based on Tom Ford's uh, Tobacco Vini. Um, I get it feels like a mellower, kind of toned down version of that scent. And the scent strength on this soap is medium, right at medium. So right about a five out of 10 scent strength. And again, I'm sure this is a conscious decision by Shree 
puts a lot of thought in these releases and um, I think for him the most important thing at least this is my impression is that he wants to make sure that uh, that these products are safe that they uh, have very that they have um, that you're not going to have a reaction to them That is an issue for me for a lot of uh, soaps, a lot of uh, artisan soaps where they they do respond to that there is a demand out there for very strongly scented soaps, which is great for the people who can tolerate it, but uh, there are a lot of people, and I am one of them, who oftentimes if I try a soap that has very strong or a lot of fragrance oils or essential oils, they can cause a lot of irritation. So I don't mind a, a medium or even a mild scented soap. This one's not mild, it's right down the middle. I'd say uh, a five out of 10. You, know, you don't have to search to uh, smell this. It's, it's strong enough, definitely. But like a lot of uh, Holy Cow scents and a lot of the Holy Cow uh, products, my skin really, um, really likes this stuff. I don't think I've ever had a bad experience as far as my skin re reacting to any of uh, Sri's products. Actually today, I do have a bit of a sunburn. So yesterday was a nice, it was like the really the first really nice day of spring. So I spent a little too much time in the park yesterday. And I do have a bit of a sunburn, but even though my skin is a little more sensitive than usual, I'm not having any issues. With the scream. Okay. Getting into the third pass here. The brush really is uh, just one of my favorites. It has that nice springiness that a boar brush has, the backbone but the tips are just really, really jelly and soft. I also like um, it has a little bit of added loft, let's say over your typical badger, which allows it to release the lather a little bit better. At least that's what I found in my experience. Really nice slickness here. I'm gonna go across or across the grain now towards my chin. Yeah. Same thing on this side. See across the grain. Towards my chin. Yep. This razor is really sharp and smooth. And I'm going to do a little bit short, scrubbier strokes under the jaw. Again, towards my chin. And at the bottom here, I'm going to go more like straight down, which is more against the grain. The hair changes direction. Yeah, no problem with the residual slickness. Uh, compared to other creams, this cream, I think really blows a really blows them away as far as slickness, pull shave. This 
So the scent is very nice. Like I was saying, it's kind of like a spicy, um, sweet tobacco, not smoky. So, or ashy. So it's not like, uh, a uh, lit cigar or something like that. It's more like an unlit cigar or pipe smoke or pipe tobacco. And the sweetness smells to me like vanilla. And that tobacco gives it almost like a freshness to it. So even though it has a good amount of sweetness. It's not overly cloying. Not really much to clean up there. I'm just gonna get under the bottom lip against the grain. off Really, really nice post shave. There's no weird tightness, no drying that I could feel. Um, you know, I've been using this for the past couple days and uh, haven't had to put on a moisturizer. It's just been, uh, it feels very hydrated. Um, really enjoy this product. Definitely check it out. I'm very excited to see what other scents they have. The packaging looks a little different from the line of soaps. The soaps come with very like strong graphics on it. And um, this one has sort of like a classier packaging to it. I don't know if they're all gonna keep to this uh, design, but um, yeah, really enjoyed this uh, shaving cream by Holy Cow. Please check it out. Thank you for joining me and I'll catch you next time.